Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here at this beautiful beach in Uluwatu and I'm going to be giving you tips about how to shoot with two models at the same time for swimwear and also my top tips for doing swimwear when the weather is not that great. Um, we are here today and it's a bit overcast and it was raining earlier on so I'm going to be giving you tips on how I handle this kind of weather situation. I'm going to also link everybody down below so make sure to check them out. And before we get into this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell button to not miss any of my future uploads. And let's get right into the video. Psst, you all know what's coming. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in platform that will help you make your dream website, portfolio, or an online shop become a reality. Squarespace has hundreds of beautiful templates, so you'll definitely find something that suits you and your personal style. You can build a professional portfolio website in a matter of hours and you will be able to customize it every step of the way. So it's so you that nobody can deny it's not. As we all know, social media presence is power and with Squarespace, you'll be able to auto post all your content to Twitter, Facebook or Tumblr with proper tags and descriptions. Finally, Squarespace helps you with the marketing. They help you with SEO as well as some plugins for Instagram stories and so on, as well as share buttons so your followers can give you some juicy shout outs on their social media. If that sounds like something you'd like to try, make sure to go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And once you're ready to go, use my code squarespace.com slash Anita to receive 10% off your first purchase. And now you made it, but I already made it. So I got my girls to wet the hair because I just think it looks a bit more realistic. We are smothered than body oil as always. This is the oil that I'm using. It's the Banana Boat SPF 8. It's not like the SPF 8 doesn't really do anything, but um, I find this is a pretty good oil. I don't know. It's fine. Anything that is um, spray is better. Um, something like aerosol works even better, but out of lack of options in Bali, this is a pretty good option. So in general, uh, when I'm choosing models for this kind of shoot, I'm shooting with two girls today. And when I was picking them, I made sure that they are similar height, especially. I find when you find girls that are similar height and like body build, it works much better for photos rather than having one girl that is, let's say, way taller than the other girl because it just looks off balance. And here they kind of look like sisters, like best friends. And the whole vibe of the shoot in general is just like them chilling, uh, hanging out. So it's not like super posy and like them just like hugging each other. It's more kind of like a lifestyle, like, oh, we're just spending the day at the beach and just do our thing basically. So um, at the moment, my settings are um, uh, F5, 400th of a second on ISO 100. And we'll just go from there. <laughs> trying to see the angles it's super overcast at the moment we are not getting a lot of sun but the oil definitely helps to bring out the skin tones and look at me yeah perfect gorgeous i'm shooting f5 to make sure that both girls are in focus that's really nice actually if i could get you guys to like rest against this rock here and i'll be shooting this way um, I put both girls in matching bikinis as well. They're just different colors because I think it always looks pretty nice when you have some sort of a similarity in the outfits as well. Obviously, it's not a must, but um, I had the possibility of having them in the matching outfits, so it was just good. And if you're a bit closer, maybe if you can like maybe lean back, Sammy, against that. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yeah, that's really nice. That's gorgeous. So we're getting a bit of the background. Ooh, that was a nice splash. Nice. Gorgeous. <laughs> so I'm shooting like 35 now. That's lovely. Yeah, beautiful. Uh-huh. That's really nice. So this is the girls are having like really relaxed poses. They're just like interacting with each other, smiling, laughing and just having kind of like a, it's not like super posy or. Usually when I shoot stuff like that, I walk around the models to see where the best angles are. Sometimes you feel like something is the best angle, but then you walk around and you see something nicer. So I just usually go this way. Oh, I really like it here. Yeah. Give me even like a tiny bit closer. Just like, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Gorgeous. Nice. Beautiful. That's really nice. Yeah, that's lovely. I love the way you're looking at me and you're not. 
Beautiful. Sometimes when I do it behind the scenes on my phone, it helps me to see like nice locations and nice angles. So I definitely recommend that. Just kind of having a look through something else than your camera view uh, finder because it just makes it much easier to um, kind of change your perspective a tiny bit and just see the, the shot with like a bit of a different eye. And I really like that. And I think it's really nice. That's lovely. Beautiful. Usually if I take photos of more than one girl, I always make sure to take photos of the girls separately as well. From my experience, agents and models don't really like being in photos together with other girls because it doesn't really help them in any way for their portfolio. So I always take that extra time to just take photos of the girls separately and to make sure that the photo shoot is worth their while. You know, at the end of the day, they spent a lot of time and effort getting there and I want to make sure that they get some nice images that they can use in their book in return. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gorgeous. Stay here? Yeah. Mm, perfect. Gorgeous. Yeah, I love the setting of the rocks. It looks so nice. Beautiful. Can we get you for maybe one or two to like, like cross your leg? Yeah, perfect. Another model with a death wish. One of us is dying. I just have a feeling it's me. Yeah, just come out the same bit. That's nice. Yeah. And whatever you do, always like stick one of the hips out. Yeah. Yes, beautiful. I love that. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay, I want to go down, but... Oh my God, this waves. Beautiful. Beautiful. Whoa. <laughs> And again, try and stick out like, yeah. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my fucking. I'm fine. Beautiful. Beautiful, yeah, that's gorgeous. Here are some of my top tips for when I'm shooting swimwear in overcast weather. Firstly, I always avoid to shoot against the sky. The sky is usually pretty gray and white and just doesn't really add anything to the photo. It just makes the space look kind of boring. So I always make sure to maybe pose the model against the rocks or some sort of a wall. Anything that adds some sort of interesting colors and textures always helps. Secondly, I always move the model around and I move around the model as well because even though the light is very diffused, the sun is still somewhere behind the clouds and it is stronger in certain areas than the other. So it's always worth to just move around the model, experiment with different angles and see which one works best. Oh, look at, you. Look at your abs, girl. And just kind of like lean back, yeah. Beautiful. Thirdly, I always make sure to use warmer Kelvins. I usually shoot at 5,500K on my regular shoot, but whenever it's overcast, I always like to go a bit higher, maybe like six or 7,000 Kelvins. And that helps me to really bring out those golden tones and bring out the skin tone a bit better as well. And it just gives me a better idea of, on the day of how the light hits the model, which angles are more interesting than the others and so on. Ooh. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So for this one, it looks really cool because she's getting really nice angles. We've been doing yoga and it shows. So it just looks really gorgeous. Yeah, I love that. I love the shine, the way it looks on the body. And I really like shooting um, kind of shots like that that are kind of unusual for swimwear. It's not the usual standing by the rock kind of thing. It looks really nice. And finally, I know it's pretty hard to believe, but I apply even more body oil. And that's because usually body oil reflects really well with light and sunshine. But if there is no sunshine, the skin is going to look much duller and it's not going to be as reflective. So adding that little bit of extra glow always helps to bring out those nice highlights and shadows and just make the skin look beautiful and tanned. Yes, beautiful. And what, Sammy, what if you have your hand kind of just like here? Perfect. Yeah, that's lovely. That's out of lens. That's beautiful. 
Nice. So here again, I'm gonna try and go around them in different angles because the way they're sitting, it will all change directions as we move. So sometimes certain angles will work better than the others. So it's kind of like a vibe of the girls just chilling. Um, I love you. You guys just like rolled your heads exactly at the same time. You just went. And both look at me. Yeah, beautiful. Look at me. Yeah, perfect. Nice. I always find it so challenging to like find a nice pose where two girls look good together. So when you get it, you have to capture it. So shooting on like places, for example, stairs is really nice because it creates a lot of dynamic between the two girls. One of them is a bit higher than the other, so it creates a bit more angles and a bit more structure in the shots. I don't really like posing girls when they are exactly on the same level because it just kind of looks boring and it doesn't really look right and it's hard for them to like lean on each other and so on. So if you're shooting with two or three models, it's always better to just find different angles that they can work with. So we have some really nice like natural sand on her now. She's kind of covered in it and it looks so beautiful against her skin tone. So nice. And look at me, just chin up a tiny bit. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, actually, even if you like, close your eyes. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. Mm, gorgeous. Beautiful. And maybe look to this side here. Oh, girl, I like you. Yes, exactly. That's beautiful. Okay, and go. Maybe one with your eyes closed. Yeah, beautiful. Nice. Love that. Yeah, I'm really loving the color schemes here, like her skin and the black in the swimwear. Yes, perfect. That's gorgeous, I love that. I really uh, like using stairs because I think it kind of gives you a lot of options for posing and it makes it a bit more interesting than just the usual kind of poses that you do standing, especially in swimwear, because you know, in swimwear there isn't really much that the models can play with. It's only a bikini, so there isn't much. So those kind of uh, poses really break it up. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. That's really nice. So we're just getting some really nice background also because we're shooting on F5. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that. Maybe kind of like if you rest on your... Beautiful. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect. Love that. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being my lovely models today. I'm going to link the girls down below, so make sure to check them out. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.